Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Stephen Roman from Heart Gold. How are you today? I'm great, Tracy. It's great to be here. Stephen, I'm lucky to even have a moment with you. Your stock moved up 142% last week. Can you tell us what, what is moving your stock? Well, I think actually uh, there's a few things that are moving the stock. One is that uh, people at the PDAC, which was at uh, last week, they, they saw some of our videos, they noticed that we were actually going into production and things that we told them a year ago were actually coming true now. So they could see the trucks moving and the drilling and the blasting going on and they said, hey, this is a real story. I noticed a uh, mining strategist, uh, Christopher Ecclestone, was saying the sweet zone of the, of the sugar zone and he was talking about how Heart Gold is ranking for a leader in your race towards production. Can you give us an update on production? Production will start uh, in two weeks. We'll be shipping uh, gold ore to Barrick for milling. And uh, so April will be our first production month under our bulk sample program. So cash flow will start in May. For those of the Investor Intel audience that may not be familiar with the Heart Gold story, can you just give us a little bit of an overview of Heart Gold and your deal with Barrick, for instance, Stephen? Thank you. Barrick uh, have a mill 60 kilometers away from Hart and uh, rather than us building our own mill we made a deal with Barrick to toll mill our ore during this bulk sample phase. So we pay them a fee and they mill the ore and give us a check every month. Well, and of course there is a bit of a rumbling happening about a gold rush happening and I was reading uh, recently that your production uh, costs are quite low, $600, is that correct? Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Uh, the ore body is very high grade, 10 grams per ton. It's probably one of the highest in, in the world. Uh, I think Red Lake may have similar grades. But um, our grade being so high, we don't have to mine a lot of tons to make the ounces. So that keeps the cost very low. And I need you just to dumb down the bulk sampling uh, deal that you have just a little bit for our audience and explain why this is so exciting. Well, it's exciting because it proves up the ore body, it proves up the mining method, it proves our costs, and uh, sort of uh, you know puts the rubber stamp on the whole sugar zone project. Of course, with the bulk sampling, and the deal that you have with Oramet, you have kind of a, a unique way of financing your company moving forward. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Yes, the Oramet financing was a gold loan that we negotiated. Uh, but uh, since then, and since all the activity in Hart, we've had uh, a lot of other people interested in financing the, co financing the company. So we have organized a, a bond issue to finance the company now, which is uh, much better for us and better for the company than, than the Oramet Gold Loan. So they will no longer be involved. Well, I would think shareholders would be very pleased with this. So what should we, as shareholders, anticipate, Stephen, say in the next quarter or two? Well, I would say uh, we'll be making uh, announcements about our production, uh, about the grade that we're finding in the ore body and of course our permitting for commercial production. So the idea behind this project is to do the bulk sample, get our commercial permits and then move seamlessly into commercial production. Well Stephen, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, my pleasure.